Hey, welcome back to You've Been Monk Guide. So after yesterday, I thought I would do one more cult, and I thought I would do the Westboro Baptist cult or church. So this is my video. Um, let me know if there's any videos you'd like me to do, any cults you'd like me to do, comment down below. Um, I would like to keep doing this, so comment down below, give me a like, and thanks for watching. So today, the Westboro Baptist Church, what is it? Where did it start? Well, the Westboro Baptist Church was started by a man named Fred Phelps. He used to be a civil rights lawyer, and he used to be part of the Eastside Baptist Church, but he split off because of religious differences, and a bunch of people came with him. Now, the Westboro Baptist Church really became famous in, the, in 1991 when they started these protests at this place called Gage Park in Topeka, Kansas. This is all in Topeka, Kansas, by the way, sorry. And he, one of his sons, or maybe grandsons, can't remember, said that they'd been solicited by sex for sex by a gay guy. So he began this crusade against them. After he, he began that crusade against them, they started, you know, the whole anti-gay thing and they started protesting homosexuality. It was after Bill Clinton, you know, did the whole don't ask, don't tell. So he started protesting that. And then he started protesting gay people like Matthew Shepard and um, the one the Laramie Project is about. I think that's him. And it opened up a dialogue and all that about civil rights and all that. Then 9-11 happened. So then they started protesting soldiers. Um, they started protesting soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan saying God hates facts with signs. And so that was the next thing they did. And that all ended up at a head in the Supreme Court over this one dead Marine sergeant that might have been Matthew Snyder. I might have screwed that up before. So they, so that ended up being a huge civil civil rights, civil free speech battle. And at first they sided with the church. They sided not with the church, they sided with the family. But then the Supreme Court overturned that and said, well, sorry, but this is free speech no matter how offended you are by it. And so they won. And then after that, they really started going out, really started protesting soldiers, gay people, funerals. It did though do one good thing though, um, because it opened up that dialogue. That's why you have that rule that any protesters have to be a mile, I think, away from a funeral or whatever, or something like that. So they did open up that dialogue. And so they kept protesting. Finally, Fred Phelps died. I have no idea who took over for him because I could not find anything on the internet about who took over the church. So he died. There's a story that they say that before he died, um, these people opened up this thing called Rainbow House across from the flat, from the church, Equality House. And so they say that before he died, he went over there and he said, y'all were good people, but the church denies it. And then they refused to have a funeral for him because they were like, they were like, um, we don't celebrate the dead, which I think was, a, which I think that was a whole convenience thing for the church. Because if supposedly their pastor had come out and said, y'all were good people and they wanted to cover that up and they wanted to make it disappear, um, they would, they'd be like, yeah, no funerals. We don't do that. And I think they did it to cover up that. That's my theory about it. So convenient for them. Then a bunch of people started leaving. One of them wrote a very good book, um, Unfollow. That was written by the daughter, granddaughter, Megan Ralph Phelps. Megan wrote something like that. Wrote a very good book. It's an interesting read. I recommend it for anybody who wants to pick up a good book. So I recommend that. YouTube ads. Yeah, I, when I do my music, I use YouTube. So that's a YouTube ad. So, um, so yeah, that's enough of that. So, so she left the church and a bunch of other people wrote, left the church. Some guy named Nate Phelps left the church. Um, they claimed abuse by their dad. The church denies that that ever happened, but they claimed that there was abuse by Fred Phelps. And so they left and several documentaries been made about these people. I've researched deep into this, watched a bunch of the documentaries by them. Um, they're actually as terrible as they are, as like as insensitive as they are. If you look at them and research into them, they actually have very interesting, interesting political views. I think so. Um, that they believe in. They're also Calvinists. Now, if you don't know, Calvinism is a part of is a religious belief started by John Calvin. It's that only a, a few elect will actually get into heaven and you have to be marked by God to go to heaven. You can't just accept Jesus 
and go into heaven, get into heaven. You have to be selected by God or else you're going straight to hell. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter how much of a nice guy you were. Doesn't matter if you were, you know, Gandhi. You're going to hell because you weren't selected by Jesus. And so that's another, that's one of the things they protest is the people who believe, you know, God loves everybody. Anybody can be accepted and saved. You know, they call that the Armenian lie. Uh, they said, that's not true. You have to be selected by God. And so that's another interesting belief that they have. Um, they're extreme Calvinist, um, extreme, ex like super conservative, you know, um, uh, and they protest celebrities. They protested like, uh, Mr. Fred Rogers. They've, uh, that's Mr. Rogers for you all who don't know, who might be like, I don't know, teenagers or whatever who are watching this. If I have anybody that young following me or for future people, that was a guy in the 90s named Mr. Rogers. He had a show called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. They protested him, apparently Frank Sinatra, which I didn't know. Um, um, they've protested... Uh, crap like who else like who haven't these people protested but yeah they protest all these celebrities i think they've they've even protested miranda lambert um they don't believe in divorce that's why they protested miranda lambert they were like no you left your husband or oh, what the hell is his name that left her was married to her first uh dude on the blake shelton he left her so that apparently that's a huge sin to them you don't get remarried once you're married, you're with that person forever, no matter how much of an asshole they are. Um, even if it's the guy from The Shining who broke into the broke into the room with an axe. Here's Johnny. Nope, they would protest the shit out of you, even though your husband tried to kill you with an axe. They don't get they give no shits. So this is I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment below what cult you might want me to cover. I'm willing to do research into any cults. I'm very interested. Um Maybe next I'll do this call. I think it was led by a guy named Wayne Bennett out in Arizona. They did a documentary about him like years ago on National Geographic. I have no idea whatever happened to the dude when I saw he was in court. So let me know what you might want me to do a video on. I'm very interested. And thanks for liking. Hit that subscribe button.